with our realtor spotlights because we have two realtors who are both based in the Verde Valley um, and they're going to go ahead and introduce themselves. Okay, um, I'm Helen Capazzi and I have been a realtor for 17 years now. I actually am from New Jersey and I was a real estate agent there for 10 years and I moved here seven years ago and when I moved I decided to get my license here and I've been doing real estate since. <laughs> so, go ahead. My name is Scott Malgren. Uh, I've been in Sedona since 84. I've had my license since the late 80s and uh, we serve everywhere around the Verde Valley. Okay, cool. And so you guys aren't specific to Sedona. You guys are all over. You have listings in Cottonwood, Camp Verde, Cornville, everywhere? Rimra, yeah, Jerome. Jerome. Awesome. So oh, Jerome, okay. Everything. Wow, <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we'll just jump right in. So one of our first questions for you, Helen, is going to be, um, you've obviously worked with Fairway a lot. I know that you work specifically more with Nicole, mm -hmm. but is there something that Fairway does um, or can continue to do to help you guys in the process or make it simpler for you? Um, okay, well, um, you know, starting here seven years, well, I guess about six years ago um, that I got my license and um, you know, I worked for, with many lenders um, in the beginning, and um, I found Nicole Miller actually one day. Um, just you know, uh, somebody referred her to me, and um, I've been working uh, closely with Nicole since, and been very happy. So Fairway has um, been very helpful in um, you know uh, helping my clients and. Um, you know, getting them pre-approved even prior to um, us looking for homes. And if not, if they, you know, if it's somebody that's been out of state, um, you know, or just, you know, was ready, decided, you know, they were ready to go out there and, and purchase a home. There's been times I've reached out uh, to Fairway, to Nicole on the weekend, um, because I needed, you know, to put an offer in. So those are the things, you know, really just um, things that I've experienced already with Fairway, and I, I, I kind of stick with Fairway because yeah. I've, been, I've been very successful in helping my clients um, uh, going through Fairway, and really just, you know, answering the phone when I need to. Um, when I get a pre-qualification or pre-approval, I feel confident when I'm making a um, an offer for a client because I feel you know that we're strong because yeah. if it's coming from Fairway. I feel really good about it. Good. So yeah. Awesome. I'm glad to hear. Um, one of the things that we've been doing a lot lately was doing the pre-approval just to make sure that even if you don't have a house picked out already, the market's going so quickly that having a pre-approval and a pre-qual both can help you beat out even cash offers. Yes. So we had two situations just within this past year where we were able to do that, so. Awesome, yeah. so that is something that Fairway offers to anybody looking, um, and it's obviously working and beating out in a really, um, I don't know the word, competitive market, I guess, is um, even if you don't have cash, we can make it work with pre-approvals. Yeah. So, all right, and question for you, Scott, is where do you think the market is going, or what is your opinion on where the market is now? Having been in this Verde Valley and watched real estate for an excess of 30 years, uh, I've seen a few highs and a few lows. And one thing that you can definitely say, when you, if you isolate the Sedona market compared to the Verde Valley market, um, what typically happens when you have a limited supply and a high demand, high desire for that matter, Sedona is always gonna maintain. It has had some peaks and valleys, but it's gonna do nothing but just continue doing what it's been doing for the history of the town. In regards to other markets, such as, you know, your Cotton, Clarkdale, Rimrock, Camp Verde, those areas, they've been getting away with a lot of optimistic asking prices lately. Some of those are already starting to adjust and come back to reality. And that's pretty much what the market is going to do, the same thing it has done in the past. And, uh, but again, more and more people keep coming, so the desire and the demand will always be. Awesome. And if you have a tip for someone who's trying to buy in this market, whether it's a first time home buyer or just anybody trying to buy, what would a tip for them be? Don't be unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, keep a reality check. 
Uh, make sure that you have the right team players, be it your financing in place, your, you know, your title companies, your agents, uh, they know the area, et cetera, the market. Uh, and you're gonna have a great experience and you're gonna be have a successful experience. Yeah, I think that's a great tip. Um, we've had that tip in the past too, where it's just being realistic about your options. You can't come in and ask for a walk-in closet and a pool and two stores and all the things and expect it in a $400,000 range. That's just unrealistic, especially in this area. So um, talking to your realtors and getting a great idea of what this area offers in your price range is really important. So I think that's a really great tip. And what would your tip be? Um, I would say, um, you know, interview your realtors out there look for you know um you know someone that's going to work for you um you know scott and i teamed up um a couple years ago and you know we we do really work tirelessly on helping our clients and i think it's important um that you really feel comfortable that your uh, personalities your you know uh, work with each other um and you know just you know be sure that whoever you hire because you are hiring your realtor um that they're going to be there for you um you know at all times you know, as much as you know you're you need yeah. you know and uh, and be realistic yes we yeah you know, we can only do so much <laughs> yeah but, you know. i think that's great because i think sometimes people come in and they just think any realtor will work but the process of buying a house even if you have the best team can sometimes be really stressful. Mm -hmm. So having someone who's gonna work for you and having someone who understands what you're looking for and making sure that your personalities don't completely clash, mm -hmm. um, that's a really great tip too. I think, you know, sometimes not everyone is for everybody. Sometimes you're really, you just won't match up and that's okay and just look for somebody else, even if it's in with the right. same um, company, you know, mm -hmm. just ask, it's okay to tell your realtor, we, you know, I'm just not vibing with you. It's not working right. out, and you might have a better experience. Yeah, so that's really yeah. Great communication tip. is very important with your realtor, and and also, um, you know, if there's something that you know, our job is to find you what you're looking for. Yeah, not just to sell you any house. Right. You know, so you just want to make sure that your, you know, your realtor is working for you and not. Um, just trying to close a deal. Yeah, so. I know that your realtors don't want you to have buyer's remorse. Exactly. So they're here to help you find your dream home or your vacation mm -hmm. home or your primary home, whatever it is. They want to work for you and help you, you know, for the best results. So exactly. have the service side before the dollars. <laughs> yes, I agree. That's great. All right, let's see here. I think that pretty much covers it. And who are you guys with? Really excess. Really executives, and you guys are a team. Correct. Yes, we are. Okay. Right. We're so. a team. We are a team, and you know. Um, and we're right next door. Right next door. So if you come into Fairway, just we'll use those guys. You'll you only have to drive once, which is a kind of big deal. In slow down. It's kind of a big deal to not have to drive around town. Right. <laughs> you can just talk next door. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming thank on. You. Yeah, awesome. I'll leave both of their contact information at the end of this video. Um, they both have a lot of experience, obviously, so um, reach out to them for all of your related needs. <laughs> Thank you.